Alright, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this ASUS model UX461U. Alright, so let's go ahead and remove the screws from the bottom. These are T5 or Torx 5 screws. You do want to keep them in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we have four going along here, two here, and then four more down here. So I just put them in that rectangular shape. All right, the two in the top left and right corners are longer, so keep that in mind. If you do mix those up, at least hopefully you'll be able to get those back in. All right, let's check with all the other screws. They might be, oh wait, actually these are also longer. Okay, so the two here are shorter. All right, and then we've got the four in the front here. Let's see if these are longer or shorter as well. So these are also shorter screws. I'm um, not exactly sure if the four screws are the same length as these, um, but if you try and match them up, you should be able to find out if you accidentally mix them up. Anyways, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Um, subscribe, and if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. I'm going to use the suction cup here, so I'll do that. We'll hold down the edge and let's see if we can pull it up. And it is popping up a bit, and there we go. We can pop the cover off like that. All right, and if you can't um, help out by contributing a little to the channel, um, you could also help out by um watching a few of my other videos and then liking and commenting on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see anyways this is a little dusty under here so i'm going to clean it out actually let me go clean it outside so i don't get dust all in my work area and i'll be back i'll see you guys in a bit all right so i'm back we clean this up all right you can see a lot less dusty all right, so we're gonna be upgrading the SSD or re actually replacing the SSD because it went bad and installing Windows on it. All right, you don't actually need to disconnect the battery from here, but let me show you. I'm gonna do it because there's this giant metal plate and it might be a little risky here. So to remove this, you kind of need to get underneath and then we're gonna just pop this connector up. All right, it's a little tricky because there's not much room here, but get under, oh, I guess from here is easiest. So you just pop from that side and there you go. All right, and if you want to be extra safe, you can open up the laptop and then you want to actually press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power. So we'll press on the side here and just hold that for about 15 seconds. All right, this makes it a lot safer to work on. It only takes 15 seconds. All right, so just take that a little additional time and hold the power button down um, because if you don't, you could cause a lot more damage and why would you want to take that risk? All right. Anyways, we're going to remove this metal plate here now. We are going to be using, uh, looks like JAS1 or J1 screwdriver. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove all these screws. You do want to keep the screws in order because, again, they can be different size, shape, and lengths. And if you mix them up, you can cause damage to the computer. All right, so again, put them in the pattern you're removing them. All right, I don't know if anyone opened this laptop before. So if screws look different, uh, this one screw was longer than the other one. Um, but it does look like 2x2 two two and 2x3.5, two so that's correct, all right? And I believe this is a 2 millimeter wide by 2 millimeter long, 2 millimeter wide by 3.5 millimeter long. Um, if I'm wrong, well, let me know, but yeah. All right, so we're going to lift this metal plate off. There's some adhesive holding or stuck there, so we're just going to flip this out of the way and leave that there. All right, here you can see we have access to the SSD, okay? We're going to take that one screw out and then we should be able to lift this up and pull this back. So we're just going to pull that out and we don't really need to, I don't think you can even transfer this over. I think if you try and peel this, it's probably just going to shred to pieces, um, but you can try if you really wanted to, um, you can try and peel this thing up. Actually, it might actually be coming out. Oops, sorry. Um, but you can see we're going to peel this. This is kind of a thermal pad. Um, it helps transfer the heat away. Um, so let's actually see if we can transfer this onto the new one. Um, but anyways, this is, does it even say here if it's uh, PCA, NVMe, or SSD, or SATA? This is actually a SATA, M.2 SATA SSD. We're gonna be putting an M.2 PCA, NVMe SSD in there. So hopefully it's gonna accept it because if it doesn't, then we might have some trouble. All right, so I'm going to have to order an, a SATA one if this doesn't work. Anyways, SSD goes in at an angle like this. Push that in. It clicks in. 
drops down like that and then we just get this screw on top okay again we have that thermal pad that we took off so if we want we can put that back on though i don't think it needs it i don't know let's go ahead and just might as well why not okay so that lined up there and then this was just here on top sure why not okay there we go then we got this metal plate we just flip it back over you can actually see the wireless card is there soldered to the motherboard okay so you can't actually even upgrade the or replace the uh, the wireless card if it goes bad um, i'm loosely fitting the screws first just to make sure everything lines up okay so i'm not tightening the screws down yet we've got to get all the screws in place then we can go ahead and tighten them down all right so there we go tighten that down tighten this down tighten this down and this last one all right there we go all right and that's it for upgrading the ssd i'll show the other internal components you have the speaker connector here which you grab and you kind of just wiggle to pull it out and that speaker connects to the other one with a blue and white wire going all the way over to the speaker over here all right battery model number if you need it is right there c31n1714 so if you need the battery that's what it is keyboard backlight connectors here it has a little flip latch that you can flip and then pull that out keyboard cable i'm pretty sure is this uh, this says TP, so that's touchpad, and then USB BD, I guess that's a USB board, which is this board over here, which is the USB, as well as the volume and the power buttons there, okay? Uh, so that's on its own board. Uh, I'm not going to really be taking anything else out. There's a CPU here soldered to the motherboard. This is the heat sink. So if you need to, if you take this out, you do need to redo the thermal paste. Don't take that out and then just put it back or you're going to have thermal issues, all right? You have the LCD LVDS connector. If you're going to mess with this, it's very important that you disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds like we did. Um, and then you have the wireless antennas here that connect here. If you're moving those, you just go underneath the tail and just pull straight up from the tail. Um, usually I don't take these out unless I need to because sometimes the solder on these is very bad and the connector can get ripped off the board. All right, then you have this little connector, which I'm sure is for like the camera and possibly the touchscreen. Anyways, that's pretty much all there is inside here that we're going to look at. Um, get the battery reconnected, just line it back up and push it down. Okay, we're going to zoom back out and then we're going to put the bottom cover back on. I am going to reinstall Windows onto this laptop from scratch. Um, and when you do that, um, to get to the boot devices, you press F2. Um, I guess I'll show that part, but basically you press F2. Um, let me check if it'll boot first and see the uh, SSD since it's an M.2 uh, NVMe and, or PCIe NVMe instead of SATA. And sometimes the computers don't like that change. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see. Sometimes it needs a driver, which we do have one. So we'll see if that works. But uh, we're going to press F2 here. Hopefully it's powering on. I can't tell. Um, okay, since we disconnected the battery, it might need to be plugged in before it will let me turn it on. So let's get the plug and plug it back in. Because right now it's not doing anything. So let's plug that guy in. Come on. I got too many wires over here to plug stuff. I need another power brick. All right. So we'll get this. We'll plug it in. All right. And I see the caps lock light is lit up here. So I don't know if that means it's trying to turn on or what it's doing. Power light is on as well. So we'll give it some time, usually after disconnecting the battery and then reconnecting it, um, it resets the BIOS and there we go. So it's likely, okay, it's going straight to the Windows installer, but uh, let me show you if it doesn't. So you gotta press F2. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep pressing F2 here and it's gonna go to the BIOS. And then in here you have F8 for the boot menu. So we'll press F8 and here you can see my USB. We'll press enter and now we'll just press enter to do the Windows 10 install. Okay, so we'll let this run and let's see if the SSD shows up here. Okay, hopefully it will show up and we won't need to get a SATA SSD because I don't have a M.2 SATA SSD on hand um, because those they're old technology, so they actually cost more to get. So hopefully this will work okay. The Windows 10 installer is running and starting up. 
All right, we're gonna continue. Oh, tab to next, enter, enter for install now. All right, should give like the option for custom. We're gonna go there to see if the SSD shows up. Come on, it's taking a while to start up. There we go. We're gonna say, I don't have product key. It should find it automatically. This had sticker screwed up, but I'm assuming it had Windows 8 Home on it. So we're gonna do Windows 10 Home and it should automatically pick up the key once it installs. So <clears throat> there we go. Then we'll spit, push space to accept the license terms, enter. I'm gonna press the down arrow to custom, enter. And you can actually see the SSD. Oh, I think I might have tested this SSD before, so has some stuff. There we go. Oh yeah, I think I was trying to clone it. Uh, but anyways, now it's unallocated, and then we'll press enter to start. So we didn't need any special drivers to read the SSD. It's showing the 931.5 gigs or the one terabyte. And is it going? What happened? Next. Oh, there we go. I thought I pushed enter to continue. I don't know why it was stuck. But it looks like it's going, so let's go ahead and get back the screws in here, and we should be good to go. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, again, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, again, if you can't contribute that way, it will help a lot if you can watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the YouTube algorithm likes to see. And you can just say hi, loved your video or whatever. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. And that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I get the rest of these screws back in. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's all there is to it. All right, last few screws. And then we'll continue with the install and that should be good to go. two last one all right and that's all there is to it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one all right let's drop this bike